What is going on YouTube, the assist man? Inside of this video, I'm gonna bring to you guys what I think are the top 10 most awesome mounts in all of Neverwinter. So if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button if you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe. So sit back, watch, and enjoy. Now, some of these mounts I own, so I'm actually going to show you guys the footage of the mounts. And other ones I do not own, so I'll just show you what they look like in the auction house. But you can pretty much see them as well. Now, this is going to be my personal list of what I feel is the top 10 mounts. The most coolest looking mounts in all of Neverwinter currently right now. Now, this list might not be the same as yours, but I'm pretty sure you're going to have to agree that most of the mounts inside of this list probably deserve to be there. But what I want to know from you guys is after watching this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what your top 10 mounts are. And you know, list them from one to 10. The top 10 most coolest mounts in the game. Now trust me, there are hundreds upon hundreds of mounts in this game. So choosing just 10 of them was pretty hard, but I think that I got the right ones, at least in my opinion. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Coming in at number 10 is the Beholder Personal Tank. Now this is one of those mounts that I do not own for a reason. You can see it's a very expensive mount. It's a legendary mount and this mount is just amazing. You literally just fly around and move around inside of like an iron beholder head that opens up like the mouth opens when you go to get inside of it. And it's mount power actually shoots out laser beams at your targets. But this video is really not about mount equip bonuses and mount powers. It's just really all about the aesthetics and the actual skins of the mount themselves. So in my opinion, I feel that number 10 should be the personal beholder tank just cause this thing just looks pretty cool and it's pretty rare at the same time. Coming in at number nine is another mount that unfortunately I do not own, and it is called the Gas Spore. Now the Gas Spore is a really, really cool mount because the thing about Neverwinter is that although that there are hundreds upon hundreds of mounts inside of this game, I would say that a good 90 plus percent of them are actually just animals, you know, horses and wolves and other type of animals that you ride on. There are not too many mounts in this game that are actually depicted from other things besides creatures, so it's really, really cool to see mounts like the gas spore and the mounts I have on side of this list. Now the gas spore is really awesome because it, you actually sit on the bottom of it and then there's like two gas balls that think of it like a hot air balloon that actually just lifts you in the air and you just float around on it. It's by far one of the coolest mounts in the game. It's pretty rare to come by and not many people actually use it. So coming in at number nine is the gas spore. Coming in at number eight is another legendary mount, and this one is the legendary carpet of flying. This mount is pretty awesome because not only can you look like Aladdin while you're, you know, cruising around in the Protector's Enclave or whatever zone that you happen to be in, but with the legendary carpet of flying, you could actually invite a friend to ride with you. That's right. I don't own this mount, so I'm just showing you pictures of it, but you can actually have two people ride on this mount as well. And on top of that, this thing is big as hell. It's a very, very big mount if you've ever seen somebody running around with it or rolling around with it inside of the game. While this mount is expensive, it's still a really, really cool mount, and in my opinion, has one of the coolest mount powers in the game as well. So coming in at number eight is the legendary Carpet of Flying. This mount has literally only been out in the game for a couple weeks, but it's so cool that it deserves already to crack the top 10 list. And the mount is the Enchanted Broom. 
Now you guys know how hard it was to get this mount, man. The RNG on the sash from the pinatas was insane. And I made a video about how hard it was to get this thing. At the end of the day, I think this is one of the most awesome mounts they ever brought in the game. I mean, it's a, it's a broom. You ride on it. While it doesn't have a lot of the other cool effects as other mounts that I'm going to show that are inside of this video since it is just a broom, but it's really cool that when you start riding on it, you like dip down on it and you get an air vortex out the back. By far one of the coolest mounts and probably the coolest mount they ever brought from, a, from an actual event inside of Neverwinter. So at number seven was the Enchanted Broom. Coming in at number six is another legendary mount. And this mount is a pretty new mount to the game as well. And it is the Swarm. Now, man, when this mer when this mount first came out and I seen it, I was like, oh my God, I have to have it. I mean, it's amazing. When you go to actually get on your mount, it turns the entire screen like a reddish black and white to like depict like the old school vampire days. You're, you're just riding around in a swarm full of bats. It looks amazing. My... I guess you could say only gripe with this mount is that it's just too big when you're riding around with it on your screen. I mean, look at it on my screen. It takes up a pretty big substantial portion of the middle of your screen when you're actually riding on it looking forward. I'd love to put it a little bit higher, although it's really cool. I just think that there are still some other mounts in the game from a looks and aesthetic perspective that actually beat out the Swarm. The Swarm is amazing, and that's why it came in at number six in the top 10 list of all of my mounts in Neverwinter. So number six, we have the swarm. Coming in at number five is probably one of the most amazing animal mounts in the game. And in my opinion, it is the best animal mount in the game. I teased you guys with it in the beginning of the game. This mount is is amazing. It's an all black shiny horse with red demonic eyes. It breathes fire. It has fire on its tail. It leaves behind fire footprints. It has fire on its head. It even catches you on fire while you're riding it. It is the Inferno Nightmare. This is by far the coolest horse in the game. Now, another thing you guys gotta realize, there are a ton of horses in the game, and all of them just look pretty basic for the most part. The horses are just all right, they're just horses, but this horse right here actually takes the cake. And on top of that, there's actually a heavy Infernal Nightmare version of this, which is an epic purple mount, if you guys like armor on your horse. Now me personally, I actually think that the Inferno mount looks better than the heavy Inferno mount. I don't really like the armor on the horse, but if some of you guys are into that, it is what it is. But either one of them, you can't go wrong. This is the only horse in the game that actually looks amazing. And in, in my opinion, it's one of the only mounts in the game that actually has cool stuff on it. Like name another mount in the game that actually is engulfed in flames and breathes out fire. This thing is amazing. Should be higher on this list, but it wasn't, unfortunately. Coming in at number four is an amazing mount. One of the coolest mounts in the game, and the, when I first seen this thing years ago, I had to have it. I remember at one point, this mount was like 25 million AD, and it is the Tensor's Floating Disc. This thing is amazing. When you call it in, this wizard comes out and raises you off the ground, and you are literally floating on an invisible disc, like a hoverboard, like you're surfing, just cruising around off the ground everywhere. As far as I know, from what I can remember, I believe that this is the first legendary mount that they ever put inside of the game in Neverwinter. So it also holds a little bit of a, I guess you could say, nostalgia effect. But this thing's amazing. Just look at me floating around on it. The entire ground is invisible. Then when you're actually riding on it, it looks like you're surfing and you could do spins and all kinds of tricks on it. In my opinion, this is one of the coolest mounts in the game. Unfortunately, it is a legendary mount, so if you want to ride around on this thing, you gotta pony up quite a lot of money. Average price for these things right now is around six to seven million on the um, Xbox auction house. That's still a lot cheaper than it used to be years ago, but man, you really cannot go wrong with this mount. It is by far one of the coolest mounts in the game, and uh, I more or less just love this mount completely. So coming in at number four, we have the legend Legendary, Tenzer's Floating Disc.
This mount right here must be the most underrated mount in the game. Not even a lot of people even know about this mount. And this thing is ridiculous. It is called the Demon Sled. It is literally a sled that you ride around in. And when you call it in, it has like frost and snowflakes and stuff. And then you sit in it like it's a sled and it's on fire. But the coolest thing is when you start moving on it, look at the contrail flame on the back. It literally burns the entire ground and leaves behind a humongous array of fire and smoke. And then when you hit its little mount move like I just did, you zip around in the air and put your hands up and fly like you're actually sitting inside of a roller coaster. This mount is amazing. And to be honest with you, I was going to put this mount at number one, but the mounts that I have at one, two, and three, it was really, really, really hard to actually go ahead and differentiate between the three of them. In my opinion, they're all worthy to be a number one contender because they are that cool. This is the only other mount I know of in the game besides the Infernal Nightmare that actually has fire coming out of the back of it. And on top of that, the smoke out of the back is amazing. And it just looks amazing. I mean, you just kind of can't beat this mount. This is a pretty common and rare mount at the same time because like i said not a lot of people have this i don't see many people using this mount but at the same time it's not crazy expensive yet either another mount that is actually pretty new to the game but coming in at number two the mist form this is the first mount that neverwinter has ever created where you're actually not riding on a mount you actually are the mount. It turns your body into a ghostly mist form and you just move around the entire map as an actual ball of mist. It is amazing. This is the coolest idea I think that they have ever actually came up with for a mount in the game and that's why it's coming in at number two. This thing is, I mean, I'll say it one more time. It's amazing. You move around as a ghostly image of yourself. All you are is mist, and when you're zipping around the map, you don't see any mount. You just see a mist go past you. Another thing that I like about this mount is it's very, very easy to control because you're just moving around as yourself. And it does not take up that much space on your screen when you're moving it. And since most of it is just mist and smoke, you really can see through it pretty easily. So it makes the mount, in my opinion, just look amazing. I... I as soon as this mount came out, I had to have it. I actually bought it from the auction house on day one just so I could ride around on it. And to this day, it's still the most amazing mount I think that they put in the game with the exception of the next one. Coming in at number one is a mount that is, to, in my opinion, just takes the cake. And it is the, the whirlwind or I guess you could call it the Arcane Whirlwind as well, because there are not one, but there are two versions of this mount. The one I have right here is the Standard Whirlwind, and then there is also a Legendary Arcane Whirlwind as well that looks exactly the same, but it has a whole bunch of like glowing white and blue orbs all around it, and it looks amazing. As a matter of fact, the Arcane Whirlwind is probably going to be the mount that I choose and buy next, because I've always wanted one. But in my opinion, I think that the Whirlwind is the number one most coolest mount in the game. For the sole purpose of not only does it come up as like a big glob of air and lifts you up and forms an actual tornado vortex around your body, but I love the way that you look while you're in the mount. You're just literally just riding around. You got your arm all out. Your right arm is pointing forward like you're taking charge and leading the way like you're casting a spell on something. And then when you hit the little mount move, you lift your body up in the air so high that the top of your head actually hits the screen and you stay up there and put your hands up there like you're some kind of demigod or something, like you're in control of the universe. The Arcane Whirlwind, in my opinion, is the coolest mount in the game. I just love the way it looks. I love the way that you look on it while you're you know riding around with it being so high above everybody and everything else it's just amazing and if you have the arcane whirlwind it's even that more amazing so in my opinion coming in at number one is the whirlwind or the arcane whirlwind 
I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up, like button, share it with your friends, and all the good stuff you do. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man, and make sure you tell your friends and your guildmates to watch my videos so they can subscribe to my channel, and then they can watch my videos as well, and then you can help a brother out. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know your top 10 list of the most coolest mounts in the game, and let me know if you agree with me or disagree with me on some of my mount placements or other mounts that you thought or you you think should be inside of the top 10 let me know inside of your list so anyway youtube this is the assist man and until next time i am out